Hi there, this is Samantha Mirabaugh. I'm going to quick see if I can record a fast video for you on how to create a board around text to make key fobs and then setting it up for a key fob. So first, what you would want to do is create whatever lettering that you want the text to be. Okay, so I'm just going to put my name. That thing is a pretty long key fob, six inches by one inch text. It'll be all right. So I'm going to go create a vector fill, and this is going to seem random, but this is just to help me get my outline. So I'm going to quick draw a box within here, and you'll see why in a bit. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do one here to fill in over the S, and then I'm going to zoom in at the bottom of my S and clean up this one so it doesn't stick out past my my lettering and just delete the points there okay let's move this one up to touch the top of the ends say like that maybe yeah that'll do all right, so now I'm going to combine these by selecting both using control, going to operations, combine elements. Now I'm going to copy my text, copy paste, and I'm going to convert one of these over to a vector. Operations, convert to vector. Because now what I can do is take all of this and combine it by right click, operations, combine elements. Once that's combined, now I can use the shape to create my offsets. So I can go insert, uh, sorry, object, offset, outline. Let's do a 20-point border and see how that looks. That's not bad. All right, so I'm going to undo it because, well, no, I'm going to use that. So I'm going to go object, offset, outline, 20 points, and say OK. And now I'm going to convert that over into a bean stitch by holding my shift key down and clicking on walk input method. So there's my walk normal stitch. So if I hide the vector, you'll now see I've got an outline around my text. Oops, you can tell where I goofed up my vector up here. I forgot to get rid of that little point. So I should have had that under the A. Oh well, I'll fix it later. All right, so there is my outline around my text. Now I need to turn this into a key fob. So to do that, what you would need to do is take your, decide how big you want the tab to be. I have one already drawn, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it into this file and turn, turn on all my art here. I'm going to turn off that for the moment. So now I just want to place this guy where I want it located. So, relative to my text, I don't know, maybe there? It's not bad. All right, so let's center it I'm using this button here. Oh, okay. There we go. And from here, I just need to create the border for the actual key fob itself. So I can, again, cheat by selecting my shape, which is a vector, holding shift and clicking walk input method. I can split the sky by using the split elements. Hold that down, split element, and so now I'll delete this line. So now let's just put it all together so it's actually something that sews cohesively versus kind of the hodgepodge mess I have at the moment. So first off, I need these lines to intersect. So I'm going to move it a little bit closer and zoom in on this guy, make sure it intersects, which it does. And then this guy, I'm going to click on this point right there. I'm going to hold my alternate, eh, I'm just going to move it over so it intersects here. All right, so that's first up. I'm going to make those intersect. I still got a bunch of knots everywhere, which I'm going to fix in a moment. So I'm going to change this shape to start and stop somewhere else. So let's say I want it, I'm going to do this one first, so start, stop, move that to the top. And then this one, 
I need it to start and stop here. Now if I update auto trims, it's a little better. I need to merge these colors. Update auto trim there. So the trim, that knot style doesn't really work in this application, so I'm going to change it from a style 5 to a style 1. Apply, OK. Yeah, that's much better. OK, so now I have a shape around my text that when I put snaps in, will be like a key fob. So let's now organize it to be an actual design. All right, so when you go to sew this, you're going to hoop your marine vinyl, and I'm going to sew color one. All right, so there's color one. And then I'm going to sew my text. That's fine. Now I need to repeat this one after the text so I can stick marine vinyl underneath and then run here. This last one, I'm going to change these from being walk normal to being a bean stitch. It's a little bolder, a um, little more defined. And I'm going to update my auto trims and I'm done. So I've got to watch how this redraws. So it traces my shape, it does the text. Traces all my shape, does the text. And then the very last stitch is the bean stitch around, which will be a nice bold border around. And then I'll be nice and secure. And there is a fast video, lots of clicking. Hope this was a little helpful. The tools I used, just so you can see, I used a split element, and that's how I got rid of the line on the bottom of this. This conversion from vector over, I did from my original vector shape. I did by holding my shift key down and then clicking on the walk input method. And I did that again for this shape as well. To get this offset, I did object offset outline. In order for that to work, you have to be selecting your shape first. So object offset outline, and then you type in. I chose a 20 point pad around it. You can do whatever looks good to you. And then I rearranged colors. I paid attention to my starts and stops so that I wouldn't have any trims. I can update my auto trims and see there's no trims between here. On the text, I didn't really look at properties, but we can. So on here, I have the density set to 3.7 with a use fill greater than 70. Underlay, the auto properties work really nicely. Um, I have them set up a little different than default. So you can look at these if you want. Um, I like what it does at the crosshatch for fills. It's neat. And then pull comp, I put one point of pull offset on everything. And then always, always, always make sure you have knots. So in this case, the style five knots were those X's that didn't look good on the bean stitch. That's where I changed it from these walks from a style five to a style one. And for the text, I'm going to leave it a style five. It works for, works for me. And then there we go. There's your key fob design. All done and ready.